Hey, Ryan here. My 50th birthday is coming up really soon. So we decided to put together a new program that combines some of the best practices we found for protecting our joints and staying healthy without having to spend a ton of time on it. Today, I wanna to show you five of the moves that we chose and why they're so useful. Release push-ups with extension, crab toe taps, speed skaters, pick it up, put it down, and the twisting get up. All right, let's get into it. Let's start off with being strong and take a look at a variation here of the push-up that adds components of mobility and full body control into the mix. Now, we all know that the push-up is a classic upper body exercise. There's numerous variations that can be done anywhere at any level. Now, this particular variation here of the push-up is going to test your shoulder mobility, your core strength, as well as your upper body endurance. Now, these are all things that we want to preserve as we get older, right? Now, no wonder this variation of the push-up has been added to the Army Combat Fitness Test. Pretty cool, yeah? So this variation can even be performed on your knees if you're still having trouble with the full push-up. And if you find that you don't quite have the range of motion to get your hands up off of the floor, you can modify this by first sliding your fingers out to the side and then picking your hands up off of the floor. What I suggest is to hold that extended position for count of three seconds Remember to squeeze your lower body the entire time you're performing this and work up to being able to perform the release push-up with extension for a minute straight. So next up we have the crab toe tap. Now this movement is really gonna challenge your balance and coordination, plus it's a fun movement to do. Now we know that balance and coordination here are an integral part of moving well and studies have actually shown that coordination training improves memory and spatial cognition in healthy adults. So thing is, when you're working on this movement, you might find that the cross body strength needed to support yourself while only on one hand and one foot can be quite challenging at first. But after getting better with this movement, you'll see a direct carryover with your confidence in strength, flexibility, as well as control with other movement patterns. So I suggest starting off with your legs bent if you have some issues with hamstring flexibility and then over time and with practice, you start to straighten your legs. This is really gonna help in not only improving your balance or coordination, but also that flexibility in terms of being able to straighten your leg. You can also start to increase the speed of the toe taps. This is gonna be working on a different component of it. Further improve your coordination as well as balance. Now, set a timer for 30 seconds in the beginning and work your way up to eventually being able to perform this movement for one minute. When was the last time you jumped side to side and struck a pose? So this movement can feel and look a little strange, but the lateral loading and isometric speed of the speed skaters is going to improve your leg strength, your sense of balance, coordination, and your cardiovascular system. Now, the ability to tolerate lateral loading and speed changes is something that decreases rapidly as we age, simply because, well, unless you're an athlete, it isn't necessarily something that we practice, which is unfortunate. So I really suggest adding this movement into your workouts. Start off without jumping side to side, and instead just focus on getting the general movement pattern down by placing your toes on the ground to the side in the beginning. And once you have that down and know what's going on with your body, then you can start adding in that jump, going side to side, gradually letting the back foot float and trying to stay low to the ground as you increase the width and the distance in terms of jumping side to side. Make sure that when you land, you are landing solidly without any movement side to side, trying to really nail that landing as you go side to side. Also, bonus for doing these barefoot, uh, since it will further improve strength in your feet and your ankles, work up to being able to do this for a minute. Now we call the next move the pick it up, put it down move, pretty original, right? Now, I think we all know that life's so much better when we have the mobility to be able to bend down, pick things up, and not have to worry about throwing our backs out. Now, in terms of healthy longevity, the major benefits of being able to move in and out of various positions while squatting down towards the floor are decreasing the risk and the severity of falls. Super important. 
And now the cool thing is that it's fairly easy to practice this movement. There's any number of different positions that you can explore. Just grab something, put it down on the floor, stand back up, then squat down, turn around, pick that thing up. Be sure to do it on both sides. Now, the thing is, is you're probably gonna find that one side is a little tighter than the other, and that's perfectly normal, so don't worry too much about it. The main thing is just exploring this movement play around with it. So just continue to find different ways of squatting down, twisting, picking that object up and off the floor, you know, for a minute at a time. We're now gonna take a look at the twisting get up here. So strong hips and legs are gonna help you move around better. You know, it's a very obvious thing when you think about it, but once you drop below a certain threshold of lower body strength, suddenly very basic activities become much more difficult. And it seems easy enough for us right now, right? But how easy is this gonna be for you in about 40 years? Now, being able to sit down and return to standing also has been shown correlate to longevity. So let's continue to make sure that we can do this. I don't want you to worry right now if you can't get your heels to the ground when squatting, and I want you to feel free to use your hands on the floor for support. Now rotate on the balls of your feet since that's just gonna make it easier for you to twist and rotate in and out of the sitting position. Go slow. Take it easy and just focus on that twist and how smoothly you can get in and out of this position. And again, use your hands for support if need be. Just explore what you can do. One way to train all of these movements is to put them together into a little circuit. And so what you can do is perform each movement for a minute, doing two to three rounds. Make sure to do both sides of the move during that minute and really focus on movement quality rather than just trying to crank out tons of repetitions. Leave me a comment below letting me know which of these moves you like the best. And you can find more information about our new program over at literalimmortality.com.